Let me ask you this. What is the one thing that video poker players and plumbers can agree on? A royal flush is better than a full house. It's Wednesday, January 26th, and this is episode 57 of the New England Casino and Gambling Podcast. Yay! Welcome to the New England Casino and Gambling Podcast, a production of AnytimeGambling.com, your complete coverage of New England casinos and recreational gambling. So you, you got your Duncan's Coffee ready? Because our next Wicked episode is going to be starting right now. Yes, today we're investigating the big video poker payout. And what I say is, don't rush the royal flush. Today's post is for those video poker players who yearn for that elusive royal flush. Some of my best friends and, and uh, community members still haven't hit the big one. Others feel it isn't a real royal unless it's on a single line dollar or more video poker machine. Some want it so badly they will roam away from perfect strategy. But I say nay nay. So don't rush the royal flush. Give it time, and it'll happen when you least expect it. So don't expect it at all. Instead, work on your perfect strategy. Find the best pay tables for longevity, and let it come to you. Now, take a deep breath, and let's look at what it is and what we can do. So while we are tempted to keep two or three cards to the royal ultimately, it will be your demise if it isn't part of the proper strategy for that particular game and that particular pay table. You might win a battle, but the cost of waging war before that battle will be far more costly and a much shorter war in the long run. So to in increase your chances, here are six things to follow. First of all, identify the game you wish to play the most. Learn the perfect strategy for that game. Use an online tutor. I suggest videopoker.com because the gold membership is only $9 a month and it gives you special customizing tools such as pay table variations and corrections in your play when mistakes are made. Four, don't stray from the strategy you've learned. Five, don't believe in video poker myths and don't listen to false pros. Finally, play for enjoyment. Embrace those four of a kinds and play to win. Many recreational players seem to get impatient for the big prize to appear. So why not change from perfect strategy to help the royal flush appear? Well, here's the answer. Each play is a single play on a slot or a video poker machine and has nothing to do with the next hand, the next 40 hands, or the next 40,000 hands. A royal flush has the probability of appearing once every 40,390 hands. Probability means probable, not definite. And this is the flaw in the help the royal strategy. The truth is anyone, even a trained monkey, can get a royal flush dealt with them. The probability of a dealt royal is once in 650,000 hands. Is it possible to get one before that? Sure. Is it possible never to get one dealt? Sure. Is it probable that it will occur around 650,000 hands? Sure, but don't count on it. Just like you shouldn't expect a royal after 40,000 hands, it probably doesn't mean it's due. But some players play and never see a one. Consider this. The random number generator deals one hand at a time. It has no memory of who played before or how long you have to play that day. The RNG doesn't remember your previous play on its cousin machine down the row. And it's all about possibility, probability, and not about do or definite. The key is probability versus possibility. Video poker is all about reducing the house edge to lengthen your time of play in your bankroll. 
The perfect strategy is found mathematically to increase the probability, thus lengthening your bankroll. Lengthening your bankroll improves the probability of larger payoff hands appearing, thus allowing more hands to be played. When you have more chances to play, you have a higher probability of hitting that royal. Higher probability doesn't mean do for a win. So if you've never had a royal flush before, then this is my suggestion for you. Some think it's blasphemy. Others think they're not real royals. But here's what I think. Play multi-line video poker. Try it at a nickel denomination. And, you know, even if it's a nickel denomination, the probability of getting a royal is still the same. In the last five years, I have had 23 royal flushes at nickel, dime, quarter denominations in different games. So break the ice by playing, let's say, Ultimate X with multipliers at the nickel denomination. A royal with 10 times multiplier still gets you 40,000 nickels or $2,000. Bottom line, if you always try for the royal flush, you decrease the length probability of your session. It might slightly increase the draw for a royal on that hand, but how long will you play using that strategy? Well, the answer is not very. Video poker is a game of skill. And that skill and that strategy that you learn can give you longevity. However, there are always exceptions to the rule. But stick to it. Even if you don't get the royal flush, it will increase the probability of playing longer with more modest losses and other perks such as more reward points and increasing your average daily theoretical. By the way, one little note that I found out from some of the experts. This post does not apply to video poker tournaments or video poker progressives. And as you are practicing your many, many hundreds of hands while you're practicing on your video poker tutor. If you happen to get that royal flush, it actually counts as one of those 40,000 hands. But don't let it worry you because remember, it's all about possibility, probability, and still learning to play with that perfect strategy. And I also suggest that you check out our post, Don't Rush the Royal Flush, at anytimegambling.com. So there it is, that's what it is, and that's what it shall be. Don't rush the royal flush. And for those of you who visit some of our nine New England casinos, be sure to check our updated list of promotions, entertainment, events, and more at anytimegambling.com. Until next Wednesday, enjoy the week, and remember, let those royals Come to you. Don't rush the royal flush. Thanks for listening. If you enjoyed this episode, please share it with others and post about it on social media. You can follow me on Twitter at Anytime Gambling, on Facebook at both anytimegambling.com, and by following me, Robin Aubin. And don't forget our website called Well, what do you think? AnytimeGambling.com Remember, the N-E stands for New England. And as we say at NETG, embrace the math, not the myth. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.